Okay, everyone, we just got a new, basically full-length Percy Jackson trailer today. It was 93 seconds long, and I want to talk to you guys about it. Like, there are so many things that I missed when I first watched it, and even the second time that I watched it, but then I went back through it and looked for the small details, and I'm going to show you guys these details, because the details are freaking amazing. Basically, the first big shot of the trailer is Percy Jackson looking up at the statue. And on first glance, I had no idea what the statue was. But you, you can't really see it over here. I didn't realize that the picture cut it off. But guys, this statue is holding the head of Medusa, which means he's looking at the statue of Perseus, his namesake. And that's like a really cool detail. Next up, we have the slip or whatever thing Percy Jackson is holding on a clipboard in his hands in the museum. And it's it's all jumbled up like he has dyslexia and they're, they're somehow portraying dyslexia on the screen, which is crazy. It's, it's awesome. Like, honestly, I was kind of curious how they were going to do it, but they just did these jumbled letters and it's, and it's perfect. It is perfect. Next up, guys, we get our first shot of Riptide and look closely at that because, guys, that is a ballpoint pen, something we were robbed of in the Percy Jackson movies. But this is a ballpoint pen with a cap. So we're going to see the uncapping of Riptide in this. It's going to be amazing. Next up, I only included the shot because it shows Percy's full body. And guys, I wanted to point something out to you. Look at his clothes. This is all blue clothes. Like he's every single clothing item he's wearing is blue. I just want to point this out because it's so, it's such a great detail. Percy's favorite color is blue. His mom likes making blue food. It just makes sense that he'd be wearing all blue clothes. Next up, we got our first shot of Mrs. Dodds slash Electo, and that's looking pretty good. But just look at this. We get a close up shot of her face. Guys, a mate, like I have no words. It's amazing. Next up, we get a shot of Lance Reddick, AKA Zeus. Rest in peace, Lance. Um, I really hope this performance is great. It, it will carry on his legacy forever. It's gonna be awesome. And then guys, we get a shot of the bridge, presumably at Camp Half-Blood, and it's probably during Capture the Flag. And although this wasn't in the book, I kind of like this detail because having just a bridge at Camp Half-Blood just makes sense. Like it's a camp, you gotta have a bridge. And then we get shown the next scene of Percy and his mom at Montauk Beach, something that we were robbed of in the Percy Jackson movies. They didn't include it. And Grover's there at the door coming to warn them about, I don't even remember what he was warning them about, maybe the Minotaur, but something like that. And then we get this shot of Grover's legs looking pretty good. We saw this in the last trailer, but in this trailer we get a scene Seen a Percy Jackson saying like Grover why are you half goat he says something like that it's way funnier than that but I, it's just a great scene and then guys we get the shot of them all the big caboose that's right we've got Chiron's hind end right here for everyone to see and he's looking really tall like look at Percy Look at Chiron, he's way taller. I didn't realize he'd be that tall, but it makes sense. And then guys, I missed this on my first view and we get a shot of the Athena cabin right here, Annabeth in the background, but this is the Athena cabin, looking pretty cool. And then we get a short, short, very short scene of Percy Jackson fighting. It looks like it's a capture of the flag. And in the next scene, I don't have a picture of it, but in the next scene, you can see Clarice holding her spear and fingers crossed that it's an electric spear, fingers crossed, because that'd be really cool to have the electric spear in the series. Then we get a close-up shot of Chiron, who is, I think, Glenn Turman is playing him. Looking pretty great. And then we get this shot, which I don't know where the heck they are. There's somebody in the background right here, but we have Percy and Annabeth up here. Somebody's in the background. I don't know who that is, though. Honestly, it could be in Hades. And then we get the shot of, like, a mummy person. I have no idea what this is. Might be in Hades as well, but I can't wait to find out. And guys, we get a shot of Percy and Annabeth hugging. Who knows why they're hugging? Who cares? It's the beginning of Percy Beth. I'll take it. Get a shot of the Waterland Park. Let's go, guys. <laughs> They're actually going to Waterland in this. That, that makes up for all the badness of the movie. Well, it doesn't really, but still, it's pretty good. And then we get this shot. It's, a, it's an action scene. You can see the kind of blurring of the faces, but this is presumably on the Tunnel of Love ride in Waterland. I can't wait to see this scene. And then we have a shot of Percy and Annabeth jumping off the boat in the Tunnel of Love. It's probably because they're spiders, right? Isn't it because there were spiders in the book? Hopefully that's the reason in the TV series. I guess we'll see. And then guys, this is an amazing shot. We get a shot of Echidna on the Saint, in the St. Louis Arch. Guys, this is definitely the St. Louis Arch. I've been in the St. Louis Arch. This is it. It looks amazing. And I'm so glad we're finally getting this scene after 18 years. Let's go. And then guys, I think this is Percy Jackson falling off the St. Louis Arch. It's a little different than it happened in the book. I think he jumps out in the book. And also, I'm still wondering how they're going to deal with the arch being pretty far away from the Mississippi River, or is it the Missouri River? I think it's the Mississippi River. But I guess we'll see how they handle that. But anyway, we have Percy holding on for dear life, and then he just lets go in the next shot of this that I didn't take a picture of. And then we have the scene of Sally Jackson driving, presumably Percy's in the car as well, and the Minotaur popping up in the window beside her. And then we have this shot, guys, of the Minotaur holding Sally Jackson, probably about to make her disappear and send her to Hades. Oh, man, guys, this is amazing. 
And then guys, we have a shot of Percy Jackson opening his pen and it springs out into Riptide, guys. We've been waiting for this for so long. It looks amazing in the trailer, go watch it. Oh yeah, and then right after that, he goes to Battle of the Minotaur. You can kind of see it happening right here. It's kind of blurry, but you get my point. And guys, that is it. That's all the main things that I saw in there that I wanted to talk about. But guys, this trailer, this trailer is more accurate to the books than the movies were, and it's only a trailer. Man, this is gonna be something special, mark my words.